My name's Jan Martel, I'm a writer. So I'm originally from Quebec and I was living there for 10 years and then I got tired of living in a big city and I took out a map of Canada and I thought where could I live in Canada outside of Quebec and uh, I wanted a place that was exotic to me but where I could still say I belong, you know, this is home because it would still be my country. And I finally decided on Saskatoon in part because of a family connection. My uh, uncle is a pediatrician and after f finishing studying in, in the United States he decided he wanted to practice medicine in a place where, where health care was a, a, a right, not just a privilege. And at that time in the 60s, uh, health care was being brought into Saskatchewan. And he heard about that. And so sort of for purely ideological reasons, he moved to Saskatchewan. And they've been here for the last 50 years. And so Saskatoon was always part of the family geography. And I, uh, I decided, well, why don't I try to live for a year in Saskatoon? So I applied to be writer in residence. And I loved it here, and I've been here since. The first thing I struck me is how kind people were here. They're open, they're generous, um, very welcoming, they're never giving you a feeling of excluding you. Because after all, most people in Saskatoon are from some little town around, you know, some acreage, some farm around here. So very welcoming. Uh, bizarrely, I love the weather here. People always complain about the weather. I love it here because it's, it's, as they always say, it's a dry cold. It's also a dry heat generally. And it's incredibly varied. And I find the weather here spectacular. Either spectacularly cold, and that's very impressive, or spectacularly hot. So I love the weather here. I love that. Saskatoon is big enough that there are things to do, and yet small enough that you can get around easily. Um, it's small enough that it's very easy to get a sense of community. I'm on the library board. I have now been on the library board for two terms. So it's a, it's a really good city where you can really get involved with the community, get involved with the people around you. Um, I love that. In Saskatoon, well, I love going to the Mental Art Gallery with my children to the Western Development Museum. I like going to local shops, so we're always on Broadway. I love frequenting those little little shops there. Uh, we often walk by the river along the Mewasin Trail. We regularly go to the zoo. It's a wonderful city for kids, so we often do things with our children. So this right here is my studio. I had it built when I was living in another location. I had it moved here my little haven away from the home. The house is right there, so I can be in my office in literally about three seconds. And it's a lovely little space where I've done all my writing since I've been uh, for the last four years. So you see, it's a very small space. Writers don't need much space. And I have what's called um, a treadmill desk. So there's a treadmill here, and then I have a desk up here. And so when I work, I'm also walking, so I'm exercising both my mind and my body, and it means I'm not always sitting down. So you see, as I walk, I type. So I wrote uh, my entire next novel on this treadmill desk in this lovely little studio. It's an excellent place to be a writer. Saskatchewan's an excellent place to be a writer. There's a whole tradition of writers in Saskatchewan. I think Saskatchewan's a wonderful place for writers and painters. The light here, the landscapes, uh, are great for painters. And I think there is something about that flatness that magnifies human existence. It is a very harsh climate. And I think because, in a sense, the human being is the tallest thing on the prairie, all attention comes to that human being. So in a sense, we stand tall here. And I don't mean that we're arrogant here, but we are the only thing that has features here, in a sense. And so that means there's a lot that you can dwell upon. So there's a whole tradition of prairie realism. And there's a lot of great writers that have come from this province, uh, despite the fact that it's a very small population. So it's an excellent place to be a writer. Um, Alice and I have both noted how quickly we connected to the writing community here. And it's a very supportive one. It's a very active one. Uh, in terms of writers, publishers, workshops. Uh, it's a very, very active community, very respectful of the written word. So it's a wonderful place to be a writer. Mm -hmm.